welcome folks to another episode of d -Ski Grills. Today, I have a treat for you. Today, we are making a whole leg of lamb, rotisserie style, on the American-made Muscle Grill. Let's go. Okay folks, so only a few ingredients to make this awesome leg of lamb cook on the American Made Muscle Grill. Now think about it, rotisserie style is going to be phenomenal, right? Because the meat itself bastes in its own juices as it's spinning around, alright? So let me show you what we're going to do to hook up this leg of lamb. I actually chopped up some fresh thyme. I actually peeled and got ready some garlic, whole garlic that we'll cut down, okay? We're going to use Holy Voodoo from Meat Church. We're going to go with a theme of a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of awesomeness, okay? So we have the Holy Voodoo we're going to use, and we have olive oil as a binder, all right? So we're going to get down to the cutting board right now. I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to get this thing prepped. Then we'll head on outside to the American Made Muscle Grill and make magic happen. So let's get going. So as you can see, here is our leg of lamb. This is a, a little bit over five pounds, so 5.35 pounds of awesome goodness. I had this shipped in from New Zealand, so I am really excited about this one. Kind of the home of leg of lamb, if you will, right? So this is going to be phenomenal. So we'll get this opened up. Uh, all I'm going to do is rinse it first. So let me get it rinsed, and then we will get right back together, okay? But look at this bait. Let's get it rinsed real quick. Okay, so we have our rinse, and as you can see, this thing looks beautiful, all right? Nice fat cap on there. There are some sections over here, if you don't get it trimmed to begin with, that you would have to cut off, but in this case, this baby has zero hard fat. That means it is ready to go, okay? So let's get a paper towel and pat it dry. This is going to be a good one. I'm excited, folks. Okay, so we got her all nice and dried up. Okay, folks, now that we've dried it up, what we want to do next is go ahead and impart this leg of lamb with garlic. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. We have our chunks right here, or whole garlic, if you will, right here. All right, and I want to cut some of the pieces. I think I'll just do that now, show you exactly what I mean. We'll get some of our garlic out. And I want to cut them in smaller pieces because I want to stick those throughout the lamb. All right, because we want flavor inside and out, okay? Okay, so we have our garlic cut, as you can see. I'm gonna come back, leave our garlic a little bit here to the side. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut slits into our lamb, all right? So let's get some slits going. Just some nice size slits like that and in with the garlic we go, okay? We'll do the same thing in the next spot right next to it. Come right on down, just like that, okay? So I'll continue this process until we get the entire lamb plugged and filled with garlic, then we'll get back together for the next step. All right, so the lamb has been plugged. You can see the slits throughout. Okay, I also did the back side, okay? So we plugged it as well on the back and even on the sides. So we have fresh garlic through and through in this leg of lamb, all right? So our next step will be simply using our olive oil as a binder, and I wanna get a generous amount of the olive oil on. Okay, so we got that. We'll flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. I cleaned up a little bit of silver skin that was on the lamb because I wanted to make sure that the uh, 
seasonings were able to penetrate. So I did spend a little time taking that off. Okay, folks, so simple enough. We are coming back with a healthy dose of our fresh thyme. We want to get that added. And we just want to kind of sprinkle it to make sure we have a nice coat of that through and through. It's going to be spinning around doing its thing. All right, so we'll get that. And I also want to flip, add it to the other side as well. Binders are so important uh, when you're doing this type of stuff, especially when you have dry herbs and things going on. You definitely want to make sure they stick and hold to the protein that you're using. We have garlic also plugged into this baby. Now we're coming back with the holy voodoo, all right? And I wanna go very heavy with this. Uh, this has that jalapeno type flavor, has a good salt content to it. And it's gonna make a beautiful bark, if you will, uh, on this leg of lamb. Healthy dose of this. Five pounds of meat, folks, remember that, okay? So it can definitely take it. You wanna get that added. These flavors built. Okay, so we are seasoned up really, really nicely with the Holy Voodoo. Uh, the next thing here for me to do is go ahead and let this sit. And I'm gonna let it sit for around 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I really want these flavors to soak into this leg of lamb. And you and I, in the meantime, can go outside and I can share the grill setup with you. I'll meet you guys outside. Folks, I thought about it, and we should probably go ahead and get the rotisserie spit all the way through the leg of lamb right now while it's resting, and we can always touch up the outsides, whatever comes off by doing that process, okay? So here's our rod. I'm trying to find the thickest part um, with the flesh to make sure that we can get a good insertion, okay? So I'm going right through now, and then we're gonna come out on the other end, of course. Here's what I need to do. We're gonna see how this works, because what I'm concerned about is if I don't get this right, it may, um, it may fall, right? It may fall off uh, during the rotisserie process. All right, so we'll come on back now with our prongs. So let's get them in place. That's gonna help it a lot. All right, and I'll come from this side, and I definitely wanna make sure this gets a hold of the meat, because that may be the, the shot that we have to keep this thing in place. Okay, so I'm going on in. Pretty good there. And then we're gonna come back with the other prong. Okay, we're gonna raise that up and go in deep into the flesh of the meat here, just like that, okay? All right, so I'm going to touch up a few spots on here that uh, may have gotten messed up during this process, but here's our baby, okay? She's ready to spin. She's ready to show out on the AMG. I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, folks, we're here at the outdoor kitchen, and I want to show you the grill setup on the American Made Muscle Grill for this leg of lamb rotisserie cook, okay? So let's check it out. As you can see first, here's our motor. All right, so this is our heavy-duty rotisserie motor that we will just mount on the side. There's a bracket here. This baby slides right in the bracket, okay, just like that. And we have this baby powered up, okay? So that's that. We got that figured out. Now, let's look into what the grill setup is itself, all right? So I've picked up the grill grates, and what I'm hoping you can see right here is exactly what this setup is going to be. So what we have is we have small charcoal on this line or this side of the grill. I'm going to bring the other camera in as well. Okay, folks, so I have two views on this setup to make sure you can really see what I'm talking about here, okay? Okay, so here's the grill setup. We have charcoal on the back side of the grill, all right? And all I'm using in each tray is like two briquettes, okay? I have two briquettes on the back side here, and I have two on the front side, all right? Now I have that set up for the middle of the grill. The outside of the grill, I have the same two briquettes on both sides, but I also have wood, okay? So I have pecan wood that we um, are going to infuse that smoke flavor into this leg of lamb. 
as well as the briquettes. All right, so the reason that there's absolutely nothing in the middle is because that's where the rotisserie is going to spin. I don't want direct heat on the rotisserie. I want indirect coming from the charcoal and the smoke wood to cook this baby, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to fire up each of the burners, and we'll start right on the left side here and get every burner fired up, okay? Let's go first here and keep on going. Okay, you'll see smoke starting from the previous cooks. These are some of the proteins and some of the fats that fell into the uh, trays down on the bottom. Don't forget, folks, what makes this grill so spectacular is that you have this gas function to help fire up charcoal or wood or to go right ahead and cook with gas if that's what you want. But the main thing is you have the ability, that's why it's a hybrid grill, to cook on three or four different fuel sources, all right? So this is gonna go for around five or 10 minutes, as you can see. Okay, folks, so that was the grill setup. The leg of lamb is still hanging out, soaking in all those flavors. And in the meantime, our grill is heating up fast and getting itself ready, all right? So I would say in around 15 minutes, we'll be throwing on that leg of lamb. I'll meet you guys in a minute when it's time to put this baby on, okay? See you in a second. All right, folks, we are about 10 minutes into the heating up process. You can see right here that the American Made Muscle Grill is ready to show out, okay? We have our wood and our charcoal ignited. So now we are at my favorite part of the video, and you know what that is. Let's get cooking. Folks, we're going to go ahead now and get this beautiful leg of lamb added to the American Made Muscle Grill. What we're gonna do first is go ahead and kill the gas, okay? By killing the gas, we have nothing but charcoal and wood that we're cooking these babies on, all right? So we're doing that now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead right now before we get started and add another piece of wood right over here where it's lit up really, really good, okay? So I'll do that now. Right here, it's just gonna help out with everything, okay? And what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and let my grill grates down. All right, so we'll go ahead and let this one down here. And there's a baby here. And next, folks, we are gonna add this beautiful leg of lamb to the American Made Muscle Grill. Okay, so I'm gonna go in right where this motor housing is at and get the spit locked in. So that's in place. And then we're coming right on down on the other side, okay? Right there. Okay, so our baby is good to go. Check it out. That is our leg of lamb ready to spin. We'll go ahead and get it started, then shut it down. You can see the smoke that I'm talking about that's gonna infuse this leg of lamb, but isn't this thing absolutely beautiful? We'll go ahead and get it spinning right now. So we simply need to hit the power button and our leg of lamb is ready to go, all right? So what we'll do, folks, we'll get back together maybe in around an hour and a half and see how this baby is coming along. But this baby is about to be infused with smoke flavor. It's going to build a beautiful color. I'm so excited. We're going to get this thing pulled at around 145 to 150 degrees and let it come up to temperature while it rests, okay? Lamb needs to rest for at least 30 minutes to just distribute all those juices back in and be super, super yummy, all right? Look at that. Now that's beautiful. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, we are back. We are holding right at 240 degrees. What I wanna do is open it up. We are one hour in just to see how this leg of lamb is coming along, okay? So let's get this baby opened up. She is spinning beautifully. Awesome color is forming, as you can see. And what I wanna do, folks, now is I just wanna go ahead and get more fuel added to make sure we can power through this cook, okay? So what I'll do is I'll stop the motor really quick. And I'm even gonna go ahead and take this baby out, okay? Cause I wanna make room. So you can see, again, just how pretty this leg of lamb is coming along. Looks really good, all right? So let's get it moved over. We'll sit it back here on the tray. And just real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more fuel to our setup even more smoke too, but you can see exactly what I was talking about up close on this grill setup, okay? So you see our briquettes are burning on this edge here and they're burning in the back right there, right? You can see our wood right here has already burned and we have this open area right here which is strictly set up for indirect cooking.
So I'm gonna make sure we can get through this and I'm gonna go ahead and just set up briquettes on top of the ones that are already burning, which you already know, they'll catch and we'll get us a long, low and slow type burn, okay? So we'll do those here. Okay, so back on we go with the roast. You see the setup? We're back good to go for the remainder of this indirect cook, okay? So let's go ahead and finish this setup. We're coming down with both our grill grates. Back on with the star of the show. And I feel comfortable now, after setting this up, I feel comfortable knowing that we have enough fuel to power through this cook. Next time we get together, we'll start checking internal temps. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, folks, so what we did is we indirect cooked for around an hour and a half. And what I did now is I moved all the coals directly up under the lamb so we can char it up and get some beautiful color, okay? So check out how we're looking now. Okay, now this is low and slow done right, okay? So what you do first, you indirect cook. Get this baby where it is coming up to temperature slowly. Now you wanna build up that crust. You wanna build up that beautiful sheen. You wanna build up flavor inside. You put the coals right up under it and let that baby continue to spin, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go at least one hour, maybe 45 minutes, just like this, so this baby can get this beautiful crust just stuck in the flavors, the seasonings all locked in, and then I'll meet you guys at the cutting board so we can carve into this beautiful leg of lamb made on the American Muscle Grill. I'll see you guys in a bit. Folks, we are back at the cutting board and it is now time to check out the final product of our rotisserie style leg of lamb made on the American Muscle Grill. So you saw what we did, folks. We hit this baby with herbs. We used olive oil as a binder and a heavy dose of the voodoo rub, okay? This voodoo rub is mixed with jalapenos. It has lots of sugars and awesome spices in it. And if you remember, we also plugged it full of garlic through and through, all right? Total cook time was right at three hours. We started off indirect, right? We had the coals all the way around the grill. We let that baby spin at around 250 degrees for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. The last hour, I moved all the coals together right over the lamb so it can get a crust and build up some awesomeness, all right? It's been resting on the cutting board for 30 minutes. It's time to check it out. Let's do it now. So what I did when I brought it in, I just wrapped it. I pulled it from the skewer, took the prongs off, and I wrapped this baby in foil, all right? I wanted to retain the juices, and I'm so excited to show you guys this, okay? First off, look at the beautiful color we have here. Look at that, folks. All right, I'm gonna put this here. We're not gonna lose our juices, so let's go ahead and keep those as well. So check it out. This is what comes from the resting process. Okay, so look what you got. You have a beautiful leg of lamb that is ready to be enjoyed by family, by friends, all right? You have an awesome crust. You have flavor through and through, okay? So we're gonna give it a taste test and close this video out. Leg of lamb is not one of those things you see people make all the time, okay? I'm doing this because I wanna show you just how diverse Deesky Grills is. I want you guys to see how wonderful lamb can be, okay? This is something that's not cooked a whole lot in the US. These are foods that are really, really made more around Christmas time, holidays and stuff like this, but it's not as common in the US, right? So there's different countries that really, really covet this type of meat. So I wanted to bring this to the channel so you guys can see just how awesome lamb can be. All right, so let's check it out. Wonderful crust. Man, I am excited about this one. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just take a piece off the side here and just show you how tender it is. All right, look at this just so you can see how tender this baby is. All right, a couple of pieces of lamb is what we have. We're gonna go right off into that dipping sauce that we have, all right, the juices that were already formed. And here we go. Mm. My goodness. I forgot to talk about the time that we put on the outside also, all right? This is rich, this is delicious, folks, all right? You can taste the holy voodoo, you can taste the thyme, you can taste the garlic infused in there, you can taste the smoke flavor, all right? 
all these combinations made an awesome leg of lamb. One more bite. Mm. Delicious, rich in flavor. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everyone know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. Try out this awesome leg of lamb recipe on your grill. Just go indirect for about an hour and a half. Finish it off over the hot coals to build that crust. You'll be sitting back enjoying awesome taste of New Zealand just like this. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.